Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John LaPook. Welcome to CBSDoc.com. We've got a real treat for you today. Dara Torres, Olympic champion swimmer, is going to tell us how to stay fit after 40. So, hello. Hi. Everybody out there is thinking, okay, yeah, she's a five-time Olympian, world champion, she can look like this, but I can't look like that. What, what would you say to people? Well, first off, they do have to realize that this is my living. This is what I do for a job, but it's all about staying with it. When I made this comeback for the 2008 Olympic Games, uh, I would go to practices and want to do what the 20-year-olds were doing, and I realized I can't do that. You're much more prone to injury when you're older, and uh, you just need to listen to your body and, and just do what's best for you and not try to compete against these young kids in training. Just compete against them in, in, the, world, in the world champion. Yeah, right? well, you know, that's okay competitive-wise, but as far as training goes, you really need to listen to your body. In swimming, you, the most important muscle you use is actually your core. People will think it's your arms and your legs, and, but and it's your core. And just people what the core is, because they may not know It's that. your abs. The core okay, is your right. abs, and you're, in swimming, you're rotating a lot. I mean, if, if I'm doing an exercise that involves my arms and my legs, I'm still using my core to do it. So, I have to ask you at some point, I know everybody does, I mean, the, the abs. Do you want to see them? I'd love to see the abs. All right, folks, hold on a second. <laughs> now, it, are we going to, can we do like the, um, the eight week uh, Dara Torres, you can get abs like these program. I'm hoping my exercise book will will show you guys how to do that. that. And you had a, a baby three years ago, and you lost that baby fat. I actually swam when I was pregnant, and I had taken off for five years, and I found myself going on a treadmill at first, and then also going on the Stairmaster, and I'd get more sick doing that. As long as I went to my doctor and found out what the parameters were with working out and what I could do in a gym and stuff, it made me feel better. And by the time I delivered my daughter, I, I lost my weight. I know women don't want to hear this, but I lost my weight in like three, four weeks. Wow. It just kind of just started melting off. And you actually, you swam up until when? Up until The day I delivered, I, I, I went to the weight room and swam, yeah. Everyone teases me like, oh, well, you know, your daughter will be coming up swimming soon. You both can be in the Olympics together, you know? And I'm like, no, that's, oh, that's not, funny. yeah, that's, yeah, that's not what I want, so you'll be though. in your 50s and, well, she, would she'll be a, a teenager. Right? Yeah, teenager. that might be a little, that might be my 60s. Pushing it a little bit. <laughs> we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. That was excellent. Wasn't it? Now teach me how to be a I world I should be class. in TV. You should. Now, let's talk about your, your diet. What's the first thing you put in your mouth? What time? Uh, living fuel is the first thing. It's, it's a great... Um, it's not petrol, is it? No, 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 it's not <laughs> petrol. No, it's a meal replacement. And it has every possible vitamin and nutrient that you could possibly need for a meal. Then before I go to the gym or before I go to the pool, I have fitness, nutrition, amino acids. And it is the purest amino acids out there. And okay. it helps build muscle and also it helps your body recover quick. So that's your breakfast? That's my breakfast. Then you go swim for how long? Go swim for about two hours. Then I get out and I actually have chocolate milk, organic chocolate milk for recovery. So now you so have the chocolate milk? I have milk. my chocolate milk. I go in the gym and work out for about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. And Doing then what? I do a lot of stuff with stability on the balance ball. Uh, probably 90% of my exercises involve, involve the core. So then now what time is it? Uh, about 11, 30, 12. It's, I'm ready to go to bed. I'm you've hungry. Two hours no, I'm swimming. hungry. All right, and, and what, do you, what do you eat for lunch? I'll have a salad with turkey. I'll have a cheeseburger with fries. Um, I'll have lots of fruit. Um, you know, I basically, if I can have my living fuel and have my fitness, nutrition, amino acids, uh, I don't have to worry about what I eat the rest of the day. Do you have any idea of how many calories a day you eat? A lot. I can actually keep up with the guys on the team. Well, uh, Phelps, Phelps, there's a guy named Phelps, right? Yeah, he doesn't eat 12,000. That really? was exaggerated. It's like I've had, I've eaten meals with him. I ate with yeah. him in, in Rome recently, you really? know? Yeah, we all went to McDonald's together. <laughs> really? What did, you, what, what, did he, what did you order? I ordered uh, two cheeseburgers and fries because I wanted a double quarter pounder with cheese. I didn't have them there. And then afternoon, what happens? Uh, afternoon, I'll probably have a protein shake as a snack. And then... Around 3? Yeah, three? probably about 3 o'clock. And it actually fills me up a little bit. So by the time I get to dinner, I'm a little bit hungry, but I don't eat as much as I probably would if I hadn't had that snack. Now, I know this is an interview about health and body, so mm -hmm. I will ask about your, your spiritual health. How is your spiritual health? My spiritual health is great, you know. I, uh, I really believe in living younger for longer, and, and uh, I believe that age is just a number, and one of the biggest things I uh, came out of the Olympic Games was, was realizing that you just don't put an age limit on your dreams. 
Well, what could you wish for more than that? Is motivation to carry on and to do the best that you can do and to stay healthy. So we hope you've enjoyed this little time that you've had with world champion swimmer Gara Torres. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us for CBSDoc.com. Good day and good health.